On Thursday last, a very foggy, windy, wet day, my walking group and I went out in search of wild orchids, which grow in a particular place in the south of the island. And this is a picture of one of those orchids, which I took on the Thursday. But to our surprise, on the footpath, which is boardwalked to protect the orchids, there we found sitting a long-eared owl. This is the owl when it tried to fly away from us. But it must have been caught out in the rain the night before, where it got waterlogged. It was a long way from its own natural woodland, and so it had settled on this boardwalk and waited for the weather to improve to allow it to dry out. And it was sitting there when we arrived, looking at us as much as to say, are you lot going to attack me or not? Hmm. Am I safe or am I not safe? Well, it sat there for quite some time, looking at us, making its mind up, which allowed me and others to take quite a few photographs. A rare opportunity. As I say, it sat there for a while, and then, as I showed you earlier, it flew over to some brambles and gorse bushes away from the path, where it would actually be safer. And we left it there. I posted those photographs um, onto a friend of mine, who then sent back a poem which came from a show called Captain Beaky and His Band. I believe it was written by Jeremy Lloyd and I thought it might go well with this little group of photographs so here's the song that goes with it. Baby owl, whose name was Blanche, perched bravely on a narrow branch, and wondered whether she should try to jump up and attempt to fly. She bravely counted up to ten, and then she counted ten again. She jumped, she found she couldn't fly. And lay there looking at the sky. It's lucky that that branch, said she, was on the ground and not the tree. Then off she ran and flapped her wings and said, These are most awkward things, for though I skip and jump quite high, I'm still no nearer to the sky. And falling down she gave a howl and wished she'd never been an owl. And finally her mother found her and put a great big wing around her and said, Dear Blanche, don't be upset. You haven't grown your feathers yet. 